Hey friends, D6 here from North Carolina in this beautiful Airbnb entertainment room. It's dark, so we're doing it inside. I'm starting off holding my uh, calcite ball. It's probably about eight pounds. So first what I'm doing is just holding it, feeling the weight and the shoulders, lower back, turning to the side to twist the body, feeling the twist going all the way down to the hips, knees and ankles, pulling in and out as I turn, pulling in. I'm trying to feel the weight of the ball go all the way down to the feet so that the hands connected to the feet, the resistance helps in connecting the hands to the feet. Now I'm holding it at the Dantian and see if you can see my belly moving as I'm breathing, doing deep abdominal breathing here, sitting in a 4-6, high 4-6 stance. So I'm just breathing into the ball here and now once I got my breathing I'm uh, working on my posture turning to the other side sitting in the right leg again working on the Dantian breathing just regular deep abdominal breathing here into the ball and just making sure that my body or my abdomen's engaged as I'm doing deep breathing. So I adjusted my left hand there. And you can see the abdomen moving just a little bit as I'm breathing deeply. Inhale and exhale. This allows me to connect to my breath. Good. Now I'm going to pump the legs a little bit, open up the qua. Still feeling the weight of the ball, and it's not that much. It's not a lot of weight, but it is something. It's still something, and uh, you still feel it. You still feel it. It's just a little bit of stimulation in the biceps and the shoulders and then here in the legs. So the breathing that I'm doing here is inhaling up, exhaling down, returning back to center. Now I'm doing a high horse stance um, squat, high squat. So I did a deeper squat, starting off with a deeper squat, and now just doing a high squat. If you like, you can go back to doing the high squat again. You can alternate from high squat to low squat. Eventually, the hips, the legs start to warm up and open up. And uh, this will help to open up the inner quad and the uh, outer quad, letting the tissues uh, slowly warm up and eventually stretch. All right, now getting the shoulders and back and torso involved. So swinging, swinging the ball over the head. And you really have to feel this. You really need to grab something that's, that's heavy. Sometimes I do this with a, kettle, with a kettlebell, but I like a nice uh, calcite marble or a, a not not marble but a calcite ball like this and i i actually bought this it was only 40 bucks this this ball i bought this for one of these for for doing taiji ball like this and turning to the other side i'm trying to feel this movement in the feet and i'm trying to do a whipping like motion I whip here and then feel the weight down, whip here, feel the weight down, see if you can see that, whip here. It's interesting at the top right there, feeling the weight of the ball. Whipping right there, down. And now I'm going to bring it into the center. 
You can see it spiraling inward. Coming all the way into the center. Now changing directions from the center. So, as you can see, gradually getting bigger, whipping up down, bringing it into the center. Dropping it, small circles, gradually increasing to larger circles. Trying to use the whole body and trying to move from the feet. Move from the feet, getting big, and then now bringing it back in. Spiraling outward and then spiraling inward. Bringing back to center. Bringing the feet in. And now bringing down the heart rate. Slowing down the lungs. Letting the energy redistribute holding the energy ball in the palms checking the posture here erect spine soft knees hips ankles head suspended by way up chin slightly tucked in thanks for watching guys